Hey guys, welcome to another awesome SolidWorks tutorial where I'll show you how to make awesome props from games and movies using SolidWorks and 3D printing. Today, I'm going to show you how to make something awesome like this spaceship. Spaceship! This, sh this spaceship is a popular ship used in the later Star Trek coming up. So what I did with this spaceship, spaceship! is I cut it out. Gave it a detailed section where you can see the interior of the main disc area. Um, this is something similar. I've, I've done this before in a walker, just like this one here. Check out the, the links below for that. That's an awesome tutorial that I wrote. Um, but back to this. Um, interesting happened with this when it came to actually making this model. And I'm going to speak to you about it beforehand. I had a few little issues while printing this. Basically what happened is I encountered a lot of under extrusion. Under extrusion is basically when there is not enough material being deposited onto the model and there's and then making it extremely weak and you know, it can literally break up. As you can see in these images, you know, you can see that it just doesn't look right. Unfortunately with 3D printing this does happen. And the problem is this can be attributed to a large number of factors, such as a noz nozzle blockage, material diameter, material snagging, uh, not hot enough in the temperature. Um, debris in the chamber so I had to do quite a bit of troubleshooting it came to the point where it was the material diameter that was the problem so with 3d printing you do sometimes get some little issues but most of the time they are easy to fix and I was able to f and I was able to complete this awesome spaceship, spaceship. so well, without, without further ado let's get into how I made this awesome model Spaceship! Throughout this entire model, I use basic SolidWorks commands to create it. So if you do have some basic skills in SolidWorks, anybody can make this. To create the grooves on the actual surface area, what I did is I split the model, added a chamfer on the edge, and then combined them back together to create those grooves. Instead of doing this multiple times after that, I then just did a circular pattern and repeated it, the body all the, round, all the way around, and this saved so much time. When you want to get off that darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
as I was building I kept in mind how I was going to kind of join it together so I kept most of the parts as separate bodies and only added in the tolerancing towards the end of the build for more information on tolerancing for 3d printing check out the previous video and tutorial that I wrote links are all down below for that and that has more information about tolerancing for 3d printing to create the cavity underneath I used a little trick that I figured out basically where the body was intersecting I offset a surface of 0.3 millimeters I then hit all of the bodies and then filled the surface knitted it as a solid body and then subtracted that from the main disc this gave me the perfect tolerance gap gap this is perfect for complex shapes that you wish to cut out of uh, bodies
So now that I've got all the pieces printed, after all the little bit of hassles that I had with the actual printing process, it's time to assemble it. I've got all my pieces in my trusty box here, all ready to put together. I'm just going to be using a simple super glue to, to, to assemble it. I'm not going to be painting this one. This is just a standard grey model that, the idea of this is that is to inspire others to take this model and then paint it however they want it. Just remember when assembling things, the important part is safety first. Yes, I did just change my shirt just for the effectiveness of that little joke. So I'm going to bring the camera in closer because these are a lot, a lot smaller parts so you get a closer view of what I'm working on here. So let's, let's get to it, let's get cracking. So I've, I've got myself a, a proper scalpel now instead of a the other knife I was using. Using these, these are extremely sharp so please check with your parents or your wife before you use one of these. Make sure that you don't cut yourself. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed watching this video. Hope you guys learned a lot from it. If you have any questions or any further concerns, please put them down in the comments below and I will answer as many of them as I can to the best of my ability. And once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.